Hello, I'm Carol Castle, author of Stop Procrastinating Now, and on behalf of Expert Village, this segment's about simple methods for prioritizing, because not everything is important, even though we think it is. So, how do we prioritize? We think everything's important, and we end up getting frustrated and overwhelmed because there are so many things we have to do. Well, here's a simple and easy method for doing that. This is called prioritizing your to-do list, and all I've got are four columns. The item that we want to work on, how important it is to you, how urgent it is, and then we total that score. Now what we're doing here is we're looking at it on a scale of 1 to 10, where low is one low importance, and one is low urgency. So we're going to rate each item on each of these measures, importance and urgency. So here are a whole list of to-dos. We need to make them smaller because when we have too many to-dos we just get paralyzed because there are so many things. We don't know what to do first and this is the best way for determining that. Say we have to finish a report for work. Well, we're going to rate it in terms of importance. Now these are just sample ratings that I've given but obviously you'll rate it the way you want to. Importance, I'm giving this an 8. Urgency, because it's due very soon, I'm giving it a 9. So we total it at 17. I also want to get my desk decluttered. How important is that to me? Well, I know that it's impeding my ability to get things done. It's fracturing my focus. So I think it's a 9 in terms of importance. But urgency? There's not so much that's really urgent about decluttering my desk. So the combination is only going to leave us with 12. You have a book you might want to write, you're working on. I know a lot of people, a lot of my clients are like that. They're working on books. How important that is to me? It's really important. It's a 10. I think I'd be disappointed if looking back, I didn't get that book out of me. But it's not that urgent. It's only a 2. So it's only rating a 12. Now, remember, this is looking at things as they are today. I want to go for a workout. That's very important to me, too. And, to me, it's urgent because I have a high school reunion coming up. So it's rating a 19. That's a pretty high number. I have a thank you note to write for a gift that someone gave me. If it never got done, and remember, you're rating this importance on the grand overall scheme of your life rather than just everything is important. You need to have some perspective when you're rating importance. So if I never wrote a thank you note to this person, would they hate me forever and would my life fall apart? No. So I'm giving it a 7. I might be able to give it a 3 or a 4, or maybe even a 5. And I'm saying it's an 8 because it's been a week since I got that gift, for a total of 15. Mowing the lawn, importance is 8 because I may get a violation from my community if I don't mow it. And it's urgent because it's really getting to the point where they could ticket me if I didn't mow my lawn, for a total of 18. Get an oil change, important. You need to have your car in good running condition. Urgent, well, it's at 8, so a total of 17. A date with my spouse, very important if I want to keep my marriage intact. Urgent, well, I had a date with my spouse a couple of weeks ago, so if I don't have a date this week, it's, the world isn't going to fall apart, but it's still somewhat urgent for a total of 18. Now we can look at the right-hand column and say, what do I need to make sure I accomplish today? Certainly the workout, finish the report, here are two 18s, mow the lawn and the date with the spouse. I may not have the date with the spouse today, but I'll schedule it today. And then you'll see there's another 17, get the oil change. Again, I may not get the oil change today, but at least I'll schedule it in my calendar for today, tomorrow, or the next day.